No fanfare, no TV cameras this time around, but the US has a new controversial travel ban. The executive order signed by President Trump has been amended after the original order was successfully challenged in the courts. Now the country's attorney general believes fresh legal opposition will fail. The Department of Justice believes that this executive order, just as the first executive order, is a lawful and proper exercise of presidential authority. This Department of Justice will defend and enforce lawful orders of the president consistent with the core principles of our Constitution. The people united will never be divided. The first travel ban brought disruption to U.S. airports. People with valid visas were turned back. Green card holders, lawful legal residents, were tied up in immigration. It was introduced as soon as it was signed late in January. This new order will be introduced on March 16th. The delay, the government hopes, will avoid all the initial chaos. We are going to work closely to implement and enforce it humanely, respectfully and with professionalism, but we will enforce the law. One big change from the initial order, Iraq is excluded from the countries where no immigrants will be allowed in for at least 90 days. This intense review over the past month identified multiple security measures that the State Department and the government of Iraq will be implementing to achieve our shared objective of preventing those with criminal or terroristic intent from reaching the United States. The leader of the Democrats in the Senate has called the order mean-spirited and un-American. Many civil rights groups are already consulting lawyers. Legal challenges to the new order before it's even implemented, almost inevitable. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.